All right, my watch list for Monday. Now, yes, let's, before I start with U.S. Steel, I mean, the SPY certainly looks like it could melt down. A lot of people are talking about it. Um, and I see this right here, okay? Uh, but it's also down almost for a straight week with the exception of a bounce. So I'm still kind of expecting a bounce at support. Plus, you have the 200-day right below. Uh, but none of that really matters because I'm an intraday trader. But this, these are things to look at. But uh, who knows if we gap down to here, gap up to here. Um, the market's been pretty crazy lately. So um, it's a great time to, <clears throat> excuse me, to be an intraday trader. So anyway, my list isn't filled with shorts like you might expect, I guess is the reason I'm pointing that out. So U.S. Steel gaps up on earnings the other day. It looked like it was rolling over and right back up near the three-day high. So this goes on long wash. Great relative strength today. Twitter did bounce today. I did make a call in it. In the chat room, it was on the watch list video last night. I made a call right over 37.50, I think 37.52, and we got to move up to almost 38.20. Um, so we did get a trade in Twitter today, um, and it goes back on watch because, as I said before, it's really held the bottom of this range. I think earnings are coming up soon, so it's kind of in a range here, and you got a green candle. So I'm expecting uh, a possible, you know, uh, move back up to the top of that range, but who knows? Um, again, intraday trading, so it doesn't really matter. Um, box I had on bounce watch today now I'll tell you what this met one of my favorite setups but I didn't I didn't catch it and I'll, I'll explain why in just a second but I do want to watch this for a potential long on um, on Monday because it did gap down and then it was actually a pretty good relative strength for finally selling off near the end of the day but look what this did you know what let me go back this is one of my favorite setups so learn this one I had this on bounce watch because it was down uh, four days in a row Okay, and it's an IPO, so there's not a lot of recent IPOs, not a lot of chart to go on, but this is a great setup. Four days down in a row, so then I enter Friday looking for a bounce, and then it does my favorite thing on this setup, it gaps down. So now you go to five minute candles, and a great way to play this, I actually call this, for lack of originality, um, my bounce play gap down setup, okay, because it's already on bounce watch, then it gaps down. Look what happens if you just buy a break of the five minute high. And that is a beautiful trade. So yeah, again, you've got shorts jumping in that are just way late uh, because it's down so many days in a row and it sells off for the opening five minutes and you get that massive reversal. That's a great entry right there above the five minute high. Now, I didn't catch this, um, but I would have if I wasn't watching something else, okay? Um, you can only trade, you know, for me, I like try, try to focus on one stock at a time. Um, and so what happened today was G-U-R-E in the pre-market was showing volume um, and I put a you see this blue line here that was the pre-market high 165 okay so I put a line there and it had my attention well here's what happens at the open um, and I'm not showing you pre-market here 216,000 shares in the first five minutes that's a lot for this stock which normally averages let's go back and look I mean, normally averages, Jesus, look at that, 29,000 the other day. Um, and a huge day for that one is a million shares. Okay, so this is a great candidate for a bounce play. Let's go back to five minute candles. All right, and it did um, one of my favorite setups. All right, I already had it on a gap play watch list. Sells off for the opening five minutes on the very next candle reverses. So as it starts to come back up, it gets near 145 on the next candle, which I'll add here in a minute. And uh, I jumped on the microphone in the chat and said, I like this at 150 with a 140 stop. That's a break of the opening five minute high, especially after the sell off, knowing that 165 is a pre-market high. So 150 might give it enough momentum and with this kind of volume to rip through the pre-market highs and really take off. Okay, so I called it 150 long, 140 stop, and you can see what happened. Um, and I'd made my daily goal, you know, in the first 30 minutes. And this thing actually ended up going up 90%, all the way to 280 something. Um, you know, of course it tailed off at the end. Who cares, we're day traders. Um, so, you know, we'll be looking for, for, not that I find one of these every day, but we'll be looking for gap plays on Monday and every day like we always do. Um, this was fantastic and a great way to start our day, but that is the reason why I missed uh, the box gap, you know, gap down bounce play setup, which um, just learn that setup. That's fantastic. But anyway, long story short, box goes back on watch. You can see it actually held up pretty well compared to five minute chart of the spy, which just tanked um, over the last uh, hour, hour and a half. Um, so box is interesting if the market holds up I, and bounces like I suspect it might. Um, an energy play, L-I-N-E, this thing looks really good. What a, what a nice high volume bounce here off the $10 area to 12 at the very beginning of the year. 
and it really came down below that again, but not really. I mean, it held up pretty well, and now it's just kind of flagging, and if I zoom in, you can see it. Um, recent highs here about uh, four days ago, 1055. Today's high, 1054. So you got to like this up, you know, 1060-ish. I think you get a nice move, especially if energy is strong again. So um, that's kind of my entry on uh, line around 1060. And one thing generally I like to do um, is just put a line there. Who knows what I'll remember about uh, about this on Monday. So, you know, now I've got a line to remind me um, that's the breakout area. So when trading starts on Monday, I'll be ready. Um, AAPL, i got to have Apple on watch. Uh, let me pan out a little bit. I mean, monstrous earnings gapped up. Sold off a bit on earnings day, then ripped. And then today started to rip and, and test, um, you know, all-time highs. And uh, and then ended up selling off with the market. I'd love to see this get down. Like, a, if we do get a market sell-off, I'd be very interested in Apple uh, around 115, okay? Um, because a lot of times when you get a gap up on uh, on massive volume on strong earnings, uh, the stock will go into a range for a while, okay? So right now, it's only three days, but there's your range. So I love this down around 115. Um, I'll be looking for an intraday setup long if it gets there. So that's one if on uh, on Apple. Uh, SWFT, um, transportation company. I'm not sure why these are selling off. Um, I think they'd be doing re re really well with the cheap oil prices, cheap gas prices, but um, I haven't researched it, so keep that in mind. But um, they're all looking like this, so I just chose SWFT because it's three days in a row, big volume, and nearing the 200-day. Um, so those might bounce, but that's not my favorite setup. And then IMGN is my last one. Um, nice little breakout, kind of an island reversal here uh, on, on really big volume. Um, and actually, I called this one in the chat room today, this morning too, just over that 15-minute high. It had great volume, so I spotted it early on that volume. I said, hey, let's watch IMGN. And uh, as it started back up, called it long at 713 over the pre-market high. Not the pre-market high, I'm sorry, the opening 15-minute high and all the way up. Um, well through 8, all the way to 840 something. So that was another one you could see never underwater after the entry. So a couple uh, nice ones from chat today. Uh, deserve to be on watch again tomorrow. Um, I'll leave it at that. I don't usually do these on Friday night, but I thought, hey, I'm going to knock it out and, and just enjoy the rest of my weekend and wake up Monday ready to trade. So enjoy your weekend and we'll talk to you on Monday.